dear students coming to this concept already in the last class i shared one video regarding this concept factors affecting resistance of a conductor so i am going to the already i explained this thing resistance of a conductor directly proportional to length of the conductor inversely proportional to area of cross section it is called area of cross section so beach mein na you can see cross section cut karke it will be like circle so inversely proportional to area of cross section so combine these two are proportional to l by a so remember this formula i am going to use for the numericals r proportional to l by a so two cases r1 by r2 equal to so it is proportional so you are writing r1 by r2 so l1 by l2 i have to write but a is inversely so reverse hota hai so a2 by a1 you have to write so remember this type of formula uh, just try to understand how i am writing these two are proportional so r1 by r2 l1 by l2 both will be in the same but it is reverse na so a2 by a1 i have to write so this is the formula useful no need to by heart this type of things na just you have to practice proportionality con symbol i am removing here i am writing a constant rho so rho l by area so i told you this end this end is cross section is like circle so pi r square is the area so r is the radius of the circle l is the length of this conductor l is the length of this conductor like this so these are the points already explained rho resistivity also called specific resistance and another point resistance depends upon the temperature also so this is the point for metallic conductors if temperature increases resistance also increases proportional temperature increases resistance also increases and resistance depends upon the nature of material also for different different materials resistance is different and in the last class i explained what is meant by resistance the property of opposing flow of dc current it is called electric resistance now s i unit of resistance already i explained this is called ohm now coming to this r is equal to l by a if l is equal to 1 unit a equal to 1 unit so both are 1 and 1 then rho is equal to r so from this you have to define one sentence in the notebook you can check it define resistivity one sentence is there Re define resistivity resistivity is numerically equal to the resistance of a conductor resistivity is numerically equal to the resistance of a conductor having length 1 unit and area 1 unit remember this definition is useful define resistivity this sentence is useful come to the next sentence r is equal to rho l by a so rho l by pi r square so i am cross multiplication this one rho is equal to r a by l r into pi r square by l this formula i am doing cross multiplication like this so s i unit of rho i am finding the s i unit of rho this is very important remember so r has s i unit ohm area has s i unit meter square length has s i unit meter so meter meter cancel this is ohm meter this is the symbol ohm symbol na like this so one time in the exam they are asking the question reverse ohm meter is the unit of which physical quantity ohm meter is the unit of which physical quantity your answer must be resistivity now i am going to explain some theory questions on the basis of this uh, resistivity remember so notebook me my explain carefully nichrome wire has 60 times resistance that of uh, copper wire some alloys like nichrome manganese constantin so for these materials their resistance does not change with the temperature even at the high temperature high temperature also they are not going to oxidize they are not going to melt their resistance does not change that is why these things are useful for the preparation of standard resistances and resistance boxes which are useful in the lab, in the laboratory so reverse question they will ask you why nichrome and manganese are constant and are you you are preferable for making resistance boxes you have to write the answer so their resistance does not change with temperature even at the high temperature remember next tungsten bulbs mein hota hai na bulbs we are using in the bulbs 
filament is made up of tungsten reason is high resistivity means even though it is glowing for 7 hours 1 day 2 day 3 day also that filament is not getting damage so high resistivity is there remember tungsten there is another point due to high resistivity alloys can be used in making electric thrusters and electric iron boxes so this theory points you have to keep in mind next copper aluminium silver etc they will have less resistivity so that is why they are useful they are useful in the preparation of connecting wires amara ghar mein bhi we are using connecting wires current ke liye we are using connecting connecting wires or you can see uh, what is that uh, uh, electric poles mein you can see aluminum wire is there so this is the points next coming to the next one resistivity of insulators like glass rubber ebonite is very high so they are used in making of electric switches हमारे घर में भी इलेक्ट्रिक स्विचेस होते हैं ना थोड़ा वाइट वाइट क्रीम वाइट लाइक दैट सो दैट इज नथिंग बट एबोनेट टाइप लाइक दैट सो दे आर यूजफुल इन द मेकिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक स्विचेस बिकॉज ऑफ रेसिस्टिविटी इज हाई इवन दो इफ यू टच दम वी विल नॉट गेट शॉक एक्चुअली दैट इज द सेंटेंस नाउ कमिंग टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट लिजन केयरफुली विच इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द न्यूमरिकल्स if your wire is stretched or elongated so what will happens wire is stretched or elongated what will happens so everyone so listen carefully i am explaining one numerical concept here coming to the basic two cases are here mostly first case is very very useful 10th class level second case is also there i will explain resistance r is equal to rho l by a see this thing suppose i have one wire here some length is there some radius is there i am pulling it like this and like this you know very well if i will pull it like this na it will becomes thin so length will increase length will increase here length is small here length is large so radius will decrease so see this difference between the two diagrams here radius is more here radius is less here length is less here length is more so but what is the common factor here nature is not changing copper wire copper wire iron wire iron wire but here one more important factor volume of the wire remains constant remember volume remains constant what is the formula for volume volume is nothing but area into length if you understand na it is just like cylinder so cylinder pi r square into l formula so radius is changing at the same time l is changing so but volume remains constant same condition i am using here listen now resistance r is equal to rho l by a so in the given question they are saying that length changes length changes so in the basic formula multiply and divide with l so you are getting rho l square denominator area into length area into length is nothing but volume this is rho l square by volume just now i told you volume is constant resistivity is constant automatically resistance is proportional to l square so write down the ratio of means uh, two resistance values r1 by r2 is equal to l1 by l2 whole square so this formula is useful for solving the numerical questions so remember coming to the next question same the wire is stretching but in the given data radius is mentioned here in the given data length is mentioned beta i will explain one example question on the basis of this formula then you will get idea coming to this second case first r is equal to rho l by a here area is changing so area they are giving not length so multiply and divide with area so numerator you can see area into length denominator area into a a square so it is called volume again so area square so a square it is a into a a square you can see a equal to pi r square na so a square equal to pi square r power 4 same thing i am writing here see here rho is constant volume is constant pi square is constant then r proportional to 1 by r power 4 again two cases i am writing very rarely you will get this condition but 10th class level better you can remember the two cases but 99% you will get this on the base of this thing so one numerical question i explained on the base of this question if a wire has resistance 10 ohm is stretched 
see same question i explained in the notebook can ohm original distance stretched such that such that length is doubled length is doubled then what is the new resistance same question is there in the notebook you can check it class work notebook so initial resistance r1 is equal to 10 ohm initial length i am taking l1 is equal to l final length is equal to double to l final length l2 is equal to double to l this sentence you have to understand here wire is stretched na and they are mentioning about length na stretched length so you have to remember this formula if it is not not stretching r proportional to l only but here it is stretched length is mentioned then the formula is r proportional to l square so two cases you can write r2 by r1 r2 by r1 see i am writing final by initial so both are proportionate na left side 2 by 1 i am writing so automatically right side also l2 by l1 square is there remember this thing this is so follow this thing r2 i don't know i have to find r1 is 10 so l2 is 2l l1 is l whole square okay na so next step you can see so right side ll gets cancel so r2 by 10 is equal to ll cancel 2 square is nothing but 4 so r2 is equal to 40 ohm this is the sentence initial is 10 final becomes 40 so it is increased by 30 Ten becomes forty, increased by thirty. Okay, na. So go through this uh, application also. I explained this type of applications. So very useful applications. Okay, and uh, so many applications I explained here on the basis of this formula. R is equal to L by A on the basis of this formula on the basis of this thing. So go through these videos, and uh, if any doubts are there, just ask me. In this live interaction, we will discuss. Thank you.